Power to the Truth. This is Margo. This is Sunday, December ninth, 2018. And CAMS has just released new methane data for us to look at. And so I wanted to go ahead and make this very short update for you tonight. And um, just to let everyone know um, about this chart, there's been a lot of controversy about these readings on this chart at the bottom. This page that I enter CAMS on is, is a page that I bookmarked before they updated their, their website. They updated their website, I think it was like towards the end of their end of July. And so if you enter their website through their normal portal, the reading is lower. So I have opened a support ticket with CAMS asking about this discrepancy on their chart and I'm waiting for an answer back so when I get that I will share that with you. But either way, whether it says 75,600 or 2,320, it's I'm looking at the colors. I'm not so con I mean I'm concerned about what the reading is, what the data is, but I'm looking at the colors because this is a computer-based model based on the data and the the dark brown is the highest that it will measure and the red orange the brick red is 2040 parts per billion and so we know that the dark brown is going to be higher than that whatever it is and we don't know how high because we don't have the actual data we don't have access to that so what I'm running for you here this is from Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Services this is methane at surface level I chose the base time as Wednesday the 5th and it's running we have real data for Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and so we can see what it's been doing this week since my last methane report and then it forecasts into Sunday today so what we're seeing is still a, a large amount of methane release this is the North Pole view so we're looking down on the North Pole here's Greenland here's North America and then here's Europe and Russia and India and China and we can see that we're still having and this last week from Wednesday on we're still having this large methane release um, coming up it's like it's just in waves coming out of the surface um, from from the earth here all the way across and out of the ocean and coming up through the sea ice that's that's trying to form I've been watching it on NASA worldview and it looked like it was melting and retreating a little bit it's it's not really it doesn't look that great and um, my purpose is not to really show all that today is just to look at methane we can also see that there's still methane um, covering the United States and coming off the uh, east coast of the United States in the Atlantic and s still coming over uh, coming up in the Pacific and if you will look back through some of my old videos I started doing this research in these videos back in April of this year so I don't have historical data to go from if you want past years data you're gonna have to do your own research so I don't know what it was like in the Arctic last year 
I seriously doubt it was like this. And um, so April 28th was my first climate change video where I was showing charts and things and it was about methane and I was showing cams. That was on their old website and this reading was this was this the 75,600 that's what it was on their old website <clears throat> and I have I bookmarked that page and just enter on that page now I just keep methane as my bookmark so there's that and then I have pulled up also in the North Pole view I changed the base time to Saturday this is the last day we have data on and this is still surface level and so we're going to see Saturday and then look at the next four days of forecast so showing what they're expecting the methane to look like in the next four days so counting today Sunday and then Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then as we get new data I will bring that to you as well I'm gonna have a busier week this week coming up so hopefully I can do a short update and get it to you when new data comes in I want to keep an eye on this methane because it it just looks to me like we're having a methane event and I've had I've had some attacks and people thinking that I'm like fear mongering and I don't know what all but all I'm doing is bringing you the the data here as best we can and showing it to you and helping you to understand where we're at because nobody else will. Robin is doing short methane videos and um, he's putting those up on his YouTube channel Seymour Rocks and so he'll do like a 30 second or a minute video as it comes out but um, I go a little bit more in depth and actually show you how to find this data and everything. So there's that. And then I have the global view pulled up for the same time frame for Saturday and global and surface level. And now we can run this movie so where it starts on Saturday is where the actual data from yesterday and we can see it's like a black mushroom cloud coming up through Siberia and spreading out over the whole Arctic into red in addition to it's just really coming up out of Europe and and India and Asia and the United States and parts of Africa, parts of South America and all that. So you can interpret this as you will but I just think we need to have a handle on what's going on so that we can be better informed and we can see it this is from Saturday where it comes pluming up and then they're forecasting it to kind of dissipate and spread out but the forecast can be different from what the real data comes in as and this is a computer modeling system so and it's out of the EU and it's I like it because we can see the colors and see it 
see the world and we can go to different parts of the world and all of that so that's kind of why I default to cams and then we can change our level and so if we look at 500 HPA which Sam Karana likes to use that level it's about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere a lot of other climate scientists like to take that reading then we can certainly look at 500 HPA and we're letting we'll let this movie run and if you go to total column then it doesn't look as dire because then you're looking through the whole column of the atmosphere so it's different at different levels of the atmosphere just depending on where it's gathering but we can see <coughs> that even at 500 HPA or 18,000 feet it's still that dark brown um, over over the Arctic region and then red over most of the upper northern hemisphere here so it's um, at least that bright red which is 2,000 parts per billion and then up into 2020 and 2040 and then whatever this top end reading is and probably higher I mean if it were 2320 here it could definitely go higher than that <coughs> and we wouldn't know you know unless they changed their graph so there it goes so that's at 500 HPA <coughs> and it's still um, the 2 meter temperature anomaly is still high in the Arctic I've been saving those and when I do my next climate cast update I will show you all of that along with the sea ice and things that are developing in the Antarctic as well so hopefully I'll do one of those this next week sometime but I think keeping a handle on this methane is kind of a priority right now so I love you guys and tomorrow is Monday so I hope you have a good week and time is short and I suggest you get your spiritual houses in order. Get right with God and Jesus while you still have time. Until next time, go in peace, God bless, and goodbye.